Yeah, thank you, Chum. Yeah, uh, my talk today is uh, a novel method for studying the uh, clock initiation mechanism in bacterial metrics in very high cycle the regions. So, first, I want to acknowledge my uh, co authors, uh, Professor James Bellstrom and Dr. Christian Ben from Cluster University. So, yeah, here is my talk. First, I will talk about the subsurface clock initiation. Then we will talk about the model, then the purpose of this study. Then we will talk about the material and the experimental work, and the results of the discussion. Then finally, I will So, yeah, it's a well known that uh, a fatigue crack initiation, yeah, it's a subsurface inclusion, is a, a, top, a typical yeah, phenomenon in high strains during very high cycle fatigue. So, here you can see. so. In this this side, so this is the usual called the H I. So you see, there is an inclusion. Then outside, there is an area called the uh, fine break granular areas. Then we are coming to the normal clock uh, So this work uh, yeah, uh, has been done yeah, uh, for many years and uh, under different type of yeah, uh, mechanism and the uh, explanation. So yeah, yeah, dogs, such as yeah. I didn't have this. Since there is no results, so it's difficult to see that. But it's a very interesting model. So yeah, uh, what yeah uh, for us we think of two things. So the air for material there is no inclusion. So is it possible to have clock initiation with a fine grain area in the bulk yeah uh, measures? So this is one. Then, then the second one. So yeah. Then the second one, yeah, if yeah, it will form such type of yeah, uh, clock initiation, then how? So this is uh, uh, what we try to do that. So we you, you use the uh, yeah, oscillated stainless steel. Yeah, actually, it's a yeah, uh, sodium over type of steel. Then yeah, and here is another structure. Then here is a sample. Then we use the uh, new, actually not new, but uh, it's, it's, it's uh, yeah, we use Use this room for high, very high cycle of fatigue. Yeah, progressive, yeah, stepwise loading increasing your yeah, test. Actually, it's a step, uh, step yeah, uh, wise yeah, test. Then, yeah, we, we started with the yeah, stress uh, yeah, step in the uh, stress is 120. Then, yes, uh, yeah, the step size is 10. Yeah, make, make then, yeah, so, here is a type of new. So, yeah, each step we run about yeah, uh, 10 up to and then turn up to nine cycles. Then they are with, uh, uh, with this Irish and uh, with the Australian commercial. So here actually here is a one example. So we are a first year stake room at about 120. Then we have to run. Yeah, it's less than we are eight, but it's we are eight. Then until three. Then we, are, uh, we also calculate the temperature factor. So yeah, here is yeah, the slope actually yeah, uh, shows the damage rate. So we, we run, run 10, 10 samples. So here we just discussed that's about this mechanism. So then the two study mechanism, we use the yeah, 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 electron yeah, microscopic technique. Yeah, usually we, uh, we mainly use the yeah, ECCI. So, yeah, this is, so then we, uh, this is quite a Interesting. So yeah, our colleagues at uh, across the university developed this one. So we are uh, for the surface, the surface. So we are using the normal the surface. Then we just uh, cut. So we are uh, into this uh, uh, to the uh, section. So so it's very difficult. So we are actually it's better to just uh, yeah, cross this uh, block initiation, but usually it's not. So actually, there's a marble structure I show. Mm -hmm. We not exact at this point, but it's but near because it's very small, it's very difficult to go to that. So yeah, as I said, we we, can, we tested ten samples, then yeah, we found that eight samples here yeah, uh, have clock initiation in the metrics. So here we can see. So this is the, the clock initiation here. So it's quite near the third surface, but I said there is no yeah. Uh, then we are enlarged this part, we can find this, this type of microstructure. 
So yeah, with the uh, fine, yeah, it's brand new, so it's going kind of with the, um, a, a lot of those. Then the surface you can see is also quite, quite enough. It's just a similar set with the less uh, of surface inclusion. Then to study uh, a, the temperature mechanism, so yeah, we use we study like this. So you, if I go back with these samples, so you can see. So here the, the salinity is different. So yeah, here has a mass damage. So the energy the, the damage becoming less inside. So we we uh, system yeah medically we are study from yeah uh, damage from this side to inside. So first uh, we see that here. Uh, So first inside we just to see the damage. Then we can find that this is the yeah, green boundary here. So then we are, here is the ECCIA image. Then we can see a, a large stress concentration of the green boundary, especially at the, the, the triple yeah, point and the, and the quadro point. So with the high stress concentration in these areas, then we can observe, you can now we, we can see here, small grains yeah, uh, have yeah, been formed. So this is the uh, your brain of fragmentation. So that means uh, first we are at some points they will form stress concentration, then with, with continuous cycle, then we uh, will have yeah, a brain of fragmentation. Then we, uh, if we have a close look in each small brain, then we can find that. So yeah, they form dislocation subcellars, subcellar cells. So they are, they are in normal yeah, in levels. So then we also found that it's quite interesting uh, with continual uh, uh, cyclic loading. So this small uh, uh, dislocation subset will also be uh, uh, divided into small ones. So like the here, here's an old uh, uh, dislocation subset, then we will cyclic loading, it will form also uh, a, a, a new subset. So that means during cyclic loading, so the, the brain size becoming smaller and smaller until it finished. So then when we talk about the clock initiation, so we, we found that so the clock initiation, like here you can see the normal brain size here. Then clock initiation mainly into the yeah, triple points here. So either from starting from here and also from here. Then clock propagation either yeah, it, it, it takes a brain boundary or trans brain boundary. So actually, so clock propagation mainly yeah, uh, along the brain boundary and then the other. So this this cause is the yeah, uh, rough surface. Then we, we found that uh, so if we have a close look on the whole samples, we we can find that in this area. So it's clock initiation. Then we yeah, are uh, propagation. So there, there is a layer with non size, it's about only, only about few few yeah, micro yeah, uh, meters. So here it's quite clear. You can see here is near the crack crack surface. So we can see it in this area yeah, size is very small. Here is the one, one micrometer. So here is very small. Then it can be large and large but still so here yeah, is yeah, a small brain. So here is the metric. So actually, uh, for the uh, this type of fatigue, there are two three reasons. One is just yeah, normal. The second is a brain fragmentation area. The other is a yeah, severe deformation area. So from here, so yeah, I can yeah, give you some yeah, suggestions about the mechanism for yeah, a formation of FDA in normal different metrics. So first, it is just the yeah, a a uh, by cyclic loading, then introduce the uh, local stress concentration. Then it will cause the uh, uh, brain the uh, fragmentation. Then it will form a uh, uh, small uh, dislocation subcellular, and also it uh, becomes small size so with the further uh, uh, cyclic loading. Then the high stress concentration at the triple the uh, uh, triple, triple X uh, joint will cause the clock initiation and finally the yeah, clock propagation yeah, it low brain arm with the yeah, uh, brain boundary cause the rough surface. So I think yeah, this process, uh, yeah, 
conclusion. So yeah, I think yeah, uh, uh, this method when we are thinking for example yeah with a stepwise load, the loading increase test is a, is a good method for uh, fundamental study on drug initiation due to many high cycle fatigue. Then your yeah, spin your localization formation of this location sub sub, sub cell in the brain. Yeah, fragmentation led to the formation of normal yeah, uh, regular structure in the matrix. Then local yeah, sphere of the uh, uh, exhaustion caused drug initiation and the drug fragmentation. The low end would prevent across <coughs> enough surface to even find regular areas. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.